Hello everybody. This is Jill from Daffodils Galleria. And today I wanna to show you a little folder flip book that I made from a file folder and then we'll make one. Um, so this is my prototype and I was just playing around, coming up with ideas for what to do and I made this little folder I'm undoing the ribbon around it right now to show you um, that part. That's pretty fun. So all it is is that string is tied in on there. Oops, I think I missed a round. I went in and I could never remember how many times. At first I had it where it was just tied in a bow and I thought I can do something a little different. So I attach those little beads on it. They're glass beads. And so you make one string really long. You can see the little bead on there. See that? That's pretty. And that's not sticking down to my worthiness, so I'm smooshing it. Anyway, okay, so it's the front and the back, and I kind of messed up on this one because Ideally, I would like it this direction. <laughs> so when we do this next one, we'll make it right. Anyway, so it flips. And can you see that whole thing? Probably not. Let's fix it. There, that's a little bit better. Okay. So what I did is I just made... Well, here, let me just show you the whole thing. It flips down three times. Can you see? The whole thing, da, 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 the whole thing. I'll show you one part at a time. So when you first flip it open the first time, you have a little pocket here. Just put some little thingies in, a little ticket and a little stamp copy. That's just a copy and a word. It says ideas up at the top and I stenciled it and it's a book page so anyway that's the first little pocket and that's from an old math book we don't like math so we don't mind tearing math books up and this is a little notepad that I made it's just four sheets um, and I stuck it on there um, Decorate it on the back and then we'll flip it down once more and that opens up this section. This is from an old, what's that from? Hold on, let me show you. That is from this farmer's yearbook. Has a bunch of fun pages in it. <clears throat> I just put a little sticker on there and I made another little tag and this is just another little piece of writing paper that I put together it goes in there and then this one is visible next and it's just got another little tuckable spot in it a couple more little you see that it says receipt this bothers me. I'm, I really considered drawing hands on this clock because it makes me sad that there's no hands on there. But, you know, it is what it is. And so then it flops down one more time. And this is the only page that I didn't put a um, pocket on. But I traced around it and spritzed it. And then there's this bottom one more from the math book and then I made this cute little book pages on the back and I made this little index card notebook simple Simon it's got a little pocket there and you pull out these tickets and more words and more little Scrap note papers. Never throw away your scraps, people. Okay, sometimes you have to. It just can get out of control if you don't. 
and just some more things. And I didn't stamp the back or do anything to the back because I thought, you know, maybe someone would want to write on it. And see, this is just an index card. A couple of them. Where is this one? No, this is a piece of scrapbook paper I put on the front. And so what we're going to make today is just this body part. All your little tucky things you can make separately or hopefully you'll have some on hand and that just tucks in there and then it just folds oops right back up and I didn't have the heart to cut those off and I thought well how cute would that be if I just um, let it be unfoldable <laughs> and then it goes like that and I just what I do is I leave the short one dangling and I take the long one kind of pull that down with your finger and then go around and around and around and then maybe I'll just tuck it in once or twice right now and then on the back I'll just tuck that one in okay so are you ready to make one of these cutesy little things it's really pretty easy so let's just get rid of this and lovely craft mat and it's all its array of beauty ha 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 hardly not really okay so we're going to leave mr prototype over there and i have pre-cut my file folder into thirds um you can see what i did here i just took oh my cat's on the file folders hold on i gotta move the kitty cat Okay, so see, you take a file folder and I went down the middle for, and apparently this other one, because this is one file folder and I got three parts from it, see? So, this is the one we're gonna use today and it's from the middle and that's the best one. This one I thought, okay, while we're playing, we're gonna use the edges, okay? So anyway, you just take your file folder and I like to use my paper trimmer to cut it. And I just eyeballed it. I'll just show you here another one. I just cut it like this. Always align up your, um, let's see, maybe I'll go right, let's see, right on the mid, all right, where that corner is there. Can you see all that? Let's scoop you down just a little bit. So I like to use the edge here to line it up to make sure I'm cutting straight. And, oh, well, the groove is right here. The groove is where I want to be. So this is, this is the cutting groove right there. So we're going to line it up exactly where we want to cut it with that groove. And, ta-da! So see, that's how I do it. So we'll do one more cut and then this one will be ready for use next time. So there's our groove. We're gonna keep the file folder at the top lined up with that. And we're just eyeballing here. Nothing, nothing heart pounding, I hope. So that one will be pretty cute when it, when it becomes its turn. Okay, so you have that. And then what you do, move our little slicer dicer over, is you open it up the whole way, like that. And I, what I do is I start at the bottom and take the bottom and fold it up to the middle crease, like that. And I'm not sure why I'm down a little bit, but that's my original crease. And then I take a little bone folder it's always nice to smush your parts down with the bone folder because then you get a good crease. And then from there, you use the middle crease and you fold it up again. Probably not necessary to bone fold on that one, but you know, just for good, good measure and kicks and giggles. And then you just fold it up the last time. Um, doing the same process, you just want to make sure you fold it where it meets up at the top and so right there, see where, where that one came up, that's where you fold next. And there you go. Okay, 
So the first thing you want to do is decide what do you want to cover it in? That's always the hardest part. And for this one, I think what we're going to do with Mr. Prototype, I used a bunch of different things, but I really like using book pages um, for some of them. And so what we're going to do is I always like to start with the outside. So I know that and on this one, particularly because I didn't do it this way on the last one, and I always say always like I've made a million. No, I've made one. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to start on the outside, upward face, where we want it to begin. What's our main picture that we want on the outside? And wouldn't you know it, I have not got any big plans. But let me show you. I have this folder where I do, I keep a bunch of little scrappies. These are scraps from the other one. So we're gonna pick through here and find something. That'd be kind of a neat one. Okay, well, you're an option. That's a plate, that's a plate. Could use a plate on the back side. That might not be a bad idea. You'd have to cut it down the middle, but that'd be okay. We might do that. We'll keep, which one do we want to use? I think, hmm, decisions, decisions. Well, let's see what else we've got and then we'll make our decision, but we'll keep that one out. Of course, there's the daffodil one. That's my favorite. <laughs> Hunt and gather. This is what I do in my spare time as I just go through, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that one too. And you want to keep in mind, where did I put my thing? Oh, it's under here. Size. So like this one, do I want, ah, do I want, it says botanical, that's a word. That might be a good word. We'll use that one. So maybe this will be a gardeny theme. Um, yeah, well, we can use that one. So see, and I always hold it up to the light. I, I'm sure you can't see, but when I hold it up this way, I can see the reflection from my light that shines down where I would need to cut it. And it fits really well with the gates just right there. So I think we'll for sure use that one. That might be our front piece right there. Here's another one. Okay, I think we're gonna use that gate on the front. So we're gonna just start with that. And what I discovered, I, I used a glue stick on my first one and I didn't love it. So this is going to be, I'm going to just make a little X so I don't lose track of where I am. This is the one I'm doing. So we're gonna get a card. Oh yeah, fine, that's good. And to glue on, and we're gonna use our matte medium. Matte medium, I really like, this is just a sheet from a magazine and they're super thin and so they're going to wrinkle a little bit, but I find that with the matte medium, you can press it out better. The glue stick, it just didn't seem to work as well for me. And I just have a one inch cheapo paintbrush that I got in a book lot here somewhere recently. So what we're going to do, you guys move out of the way. Everybody seeing everything okay? Okay, good. We're going to focus on just this little area right here. And what I think I might do let's see now we definitely want that gate there so we're going to line the bottom up with this line here and so we're going to just glue all the way across on that one section it's very quiet i need to play music or something when we're doing this but I don't know if the copyright laws allow for that. So, okay, you need to get out of the way because I don't want to get glue on my folder. Just set you to the side. Okay, so we're going to use our little light trick again because I want to make sure I'm lining it up right where I want it. Oh, my shaky. I have the shakiness thing, and so today is a shaky day. Okay, so I really want... I'm going to end up tearing off those... There's a little white line right there, so... Bear with me and my glue better not dry before I get this done. Use my ruler. I always flip my ruler over 
I, what do I want? I want the bottom of the fencing to be. I really kind of like that rock in there. I don't know if I can tear this. This is the best way. Uh oh, I'm not going straight. To tear off. This is what I use. I sit here with my ruler upside down and a magazine. Oh, come now. And I just rip out pages. Be nice. You're not helping me out at all, are you, today? It may not matter. Oh, here's another thing we can do. Since I have the knife, let's go like that. Well, that was a lot easier. <coughs> Dumb Jill. Okay, so now I'm going to use my light again because I want to make sure I get that gate right in the middle. And I'm going to pray that my glue hasn't dried. Now, I'm going just above, and my glue has dried too much. Of course. Next time will be a little bit better. Oh, well, hopefully we will. Oh, life is not easy today. Glue faster, Jill, glue faster. And my air conditioner is blowing right on here, so that's making things dry even faster. Shame, shame on it. Okay, so we're gonna go right above that fold mark. Perfection is out the window. So see, there's my fold mark. So I went right above it. Now we're gonna just smoosh it down. And you can either take a brayer. This is a brayer. I like to kind of go over it once with that to really push it out. But my, oh, now I'm forgetting the word of what it is. There's two types of bone folders. Is it acrylic? Nylon, this is the nylon one. And it works really good on these surfaces. So we're just pushing it out really well. And then we're going to, let's see. We're going to fold, where's my fold on that? Right there. So we're gonna fold it over the edge like that and lift it. We're gonna fold it over that edge lift it and fold it over that edge and lift it and now I've lost my there it is sanding block and you just scrape it away kind of going at an angle and down and it just comes right off and I love doing it I don't know what there's something therapeutic to me about this. I think it's the instant gratification. I've always said I love things with instant gratification. Ironing is one of those things. Yes, I actually enjoy ironing. Not that I do it very much, but I love seeing that immediate. Oh, that's pretty. I'll save that. We might use that. Okay, so there, look at that. We're already done with the first portion. Ta-da! Okay, so let's fold it back up. Now look, see, we've got our first portion. And now you can decide what do you wanna do next? So first thing I like to do is just do my base coverings for all of them and then I add the pockets and all that stuff. So let's do, um, let's do the back. What do we want on the back? Cause the front and the back are what people are gonna see the most. So I really think that turned out really nicely. And what I'll do is when we're done, we'll go back over it with the matte medium again and it kind of takes away the gloss and um, it seals it as well. Okay, so let's decide what we want on the back. I didn't really pull that many pieces out, did I? I think another magazine piece is in order for the back. Excuse me. The annual report, I kind of like that. Okay, let's get back here to the magazine pages. I have lots of magazine pages tearing out. I just sit there and tear out pretty uh, patterns. And one of my favorite things to do is I have an arch architectural digest that I get that I, somebody who lived here before me, and I pull out all the artwork. I go around it and California. I love living in, living in California. Ooh, that's kind of Halloween-y, isn't it? But see, this is just a picture of blinds, and I don't know if you can see the, the texture of it. 
But I thought, okay, we might use that. Ooh, look at that. That's a good one. But I think, and again, I've lost the doohickey. We could go that way, but I don't want to ruin the orientation. Had to come up with that word. I just love that picture. I just think that's great. And I swear that's, what's the name? The girl from the Pirates of the Caribbean. What's her name? Oh my gosh, it escapes me. History Loves Company, Bricks. Kind of like the Bricks. I actually really like the Bricks. Kind of goes with the stone. And then there's this one. Ooh, that might be pretty too. Okay, so you guys help me decide. Do we want these little balloon dudes? Or the stones, the bricks? Hmm, hmm. I tell you what, we use both. But I think for the outside back, oh, wait. Nope, the decision may be made for me because that one is not quite tall enough. Okay, that was easy. Thank you for that one. See, sometimes things just work themselves out like that. This one wasn't quite tall enough through there. So, the bricks is it. So let's see, hold it up to the light again. I wish you could see that. Can you see that at all, how the light? And you kind of can right through there, huh? I have to stand up to see my camera, so. I think that'll be good. And I kind of like the brick shape on there. That's kind of fun. So we'll try to get that in the center. Okay, so here's an easy thing we're going to do. We're going to do our glue again. Glue. It's actually called matte medium. It's not considered quote unquote glue, but it works just like glue. <gasps> Jilly splattered. Nothing new there. I'm a splattery type of gal. Oh, look, we have that. We'll deal with that in a minute. We'll deal with the overhang shortly. Okay, so this one, what we're gonna do, paper towel, don't wanna set your stuff down on your smooches. Okay, so we're gonna take this and stand up so we can hopefully center it. Let's unfold it. And, because that's facing up, even though that's upside down, that's facing up. <laughs> We're going to center this right there. And like I said, leave just the tiniest little crack right there. You don't have to, especially mm -hmm. since this is a magazine paper. It's really thin, so it won't matter. And hopefully I got that pretty well centered. Oh, yeah, you can see... The edge there, can you see that where the edge is showing through? Using my brayer, and then I go over it again with the bone folder. It gets it nice and smooshed. Any wrinklies will be pushed out. I find that that works the best. Mr. Glue Stick, you just didn't cut it for me. Okay, so now we're gonna just do the same thing. Our little foldy fold. And why don't we just do one edge at a time? Oh, I don't know because that one's in my way, so I need to fold it out of my way. <laughs> now, where was that little overhang? See, it hasn't left my mind. Two strokes and it's gone. Okay, here we go. Oops, let's hold it this way. You see that? And this is a pretty heavy duty sanding block, so it's 60 grit. So it does a quick and easy job. Oh, not that quick, not that easy. Fool me once. Okay. Rip. I might save that. See, I can use that later. I'll do this side. And the idea is just to sand over it just to where it cuts. And with this grit, it works really easily, pretty much no matter what you do. I just wanna fine tune it. 
now for this part. Oh, that's a pretty chair. Okay. This is not a decor video, Jill. We don't care about the chair. But I do, I do. I care about chairs always. I don't know if you've seen my video. I paint a chair. Have you not seen that video? You better go find it. Jill paints a chair, even the upholstery. Yes, she does. Okay, now you see we've got that little tiny edge. It's okay, we're gonna go like this. Just kind of gently. I'm really not pushing very hard at all. I'm gonna just do the same thing, fold it over just a smooch. And just kind of follow the curve. And a few strokes, and it should just pop right off. Nope. A few more strokes. You know this is live TV, people. Anything can happen. Okay, so now we've got our back. Now that turned out pretty cute, didn't it? Okay. So let's fold the whole thing back up and check it out. Okay, there's the front. And there's the back. We're cruising, people. Okay, so now we're gonna do the immediate flip. The first flip open. What do we want to do here? Let's see if these balloons will fit there. And you know what, here's the thing. When you're working on the inside, it doesn't really matter if you don't go all the way to the bottom on this because we're probably gonna put a, um, a tuck thing right here. So this one will work perfectly right here and I really like this piece. Even if I'm crooked, it'll be okay. So back to our gluing stage. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I wonder how we're doing on time here. Probably fine. Okay. Now, I leave that top part folded down because I don't want it to cross over there. But I do, I'm gonna use my light again. I'm standing up again so I can see. Okay, so I want to line the top up with the top as best I can. I'm using my fingers in the back to feel it. And oh, slide up just a skosh, please. Okay, there we go. There we go. And remember, you don't make mistakes, you're just happy accidents that we can always work out. Okay. And if you don't have a brayer, you can use a, heck, a rolling pin or, I don't know, something like that. But they're not very expensive. I've got mine on Amazon where I get most of my stuff these days. We got the Rona. <laughs> I think I will file that just a smidge, just a smidgey smidge to make it even. Okay. Now we're going to fold it and sand it. This is going to be a pretty one. Well, we're about to run out of time here going to be more than one parter. That's all right. We'll just, we'll just keep going and roll over to part two. We'll know that we're in part two. I'm sorry I sniff. I know that I have, my allergies are really being crazy, but you can see how I didn't get that bottom part. That's okay because we're going to cover it up with a tuck. Our craft therapy session where sanding blocks make the world go round and debriding those things make you feel better. <laughs> A little liftage there. That's okay because we're going to go back over it. And I think what I'll do for this top part, oh see what Jilly did? It's okay because guess what? It's going to get covered. Is we're going to fold it. Oh wait we can do that. <laughs> Duh. I thought I was gonna have to cut it. No. Whew. Scared myself. Wouldn't want to have to get out the knife again. Okay. So there's that one. It's very confusing. 
so there's our first open. First open. Now we're going to work on this one, second open. Okay, what do we want to do? And second open needs to be this way as well. So do we have anything here? Maybe we'll put the butterflies there. That'd be kind of fun. Do we have enough space? It'll be a little... Here, let's trim it. We're going to trim Mr. Butterfly as close as we can to other Mr. Butterfly. So we have as much paper as possible. And okay, line up at the top. And ooh, scary. Okay, we got that one. Oops, I threw that on my glue page. Okay, so, and you know what? I have an idea. Let's do this. Let's get, this might be a double page. Let's get a book page. Maybe we'll use one of our math book pages. Math book. So here's this old, old math book that I have. Advanced arithmetic. You see that? Isn't that cool? I don't know what day this is from. Oops. California State Series. School textbooks. 1942, 1900, given to Julia by mother, April 1st, 1900. Wow, this is really old. 1887, yeah, this is an old book. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna pull out this page because it wins. Because nobody wants to do math. I sure don't. So what we're gonna do, we need our glue sheet. I try to keep my craft mat organized, but you know, things don't always work out. How dry are we? We're pretty dry. Okay. Don't want to put it down on a wet paper, so. And I kind of like those little ears that it has. Makes me think of an owl. I don't know why, because I'm weird. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over that. Get it started on its, stick them down on them. And now that I went over it with the glue, and I have, this is a little long. We're gonna step to the side here. Hopefully you can see. Uh, everybody move. Thank you. Uh, Cause I don't want the white margin. I'm gonna just kinda give it a quick tear. <laughs> and now you can move out of the way, please. Thank you. I'm gonna kinda center that down and so on and so on. And he told two friends, and she told two friends, and so on, and so on. And then, 